Hi everyone, I am Thomas from World Botanics and I want to show you the system that I built to take care of each of my house plans individually. In the description below you can find relevant links and contents that uh, help you get your own project started. Let's have a look. So there are 12 plans in total, yeah, there's also plans at the top and there's a few near the window but it's dark now so it doesn't make sense to show them to you. And each of those plans, um, they're equipped with the uh, with a Bluetooth sensor and there's also some tiny tubing go into each of those plans. And what happens is that the sensors then send um, a signal to the plain white box here and then the box would decide on what needs to be done. Yeah, So uh, either the plants need to be watered or there's a little light addition required um, or if they need to be fertilized. Um, and how that is done, I'm going to show you by opening the box now. So the center of the system is a Raspberry Pi 4 here on the top. And this is running Home Assistant, yeah, which is a, a home automation software that allows me to integrate all the components here. And there's a special board here mounted directly on top of it which um, connects the blue relay boards uh, next to it yeah and the relay boards are basically the switches of the system yeah they connect to quite a few um, of those tiny blue valves here and uh, and the valves obviously uh, connect to um, yeah the tubing that goes to the plant then there's a wi-fi switch here on the bottom that uh, connects to the lamps and there's also um, a pump in the bucket and also, which is more important, um, a float switch. Yeah, um, You can't see now because it's it's dark, but what it does is that it detects when the, water's level is, when the water level is running low and then it would send me a notification. When the automation fires, it looks like this. Here's a short summary of my system's features. What I haven't showed you so far is how this all looks in the software. And that's why we hop into Home Assistant now. So my favorite tutorial on how to set up Home Assistant is, is linked below. There's, there's really great people who've explained this very well. Um, and for me, the result looks like this. Yeah, you, you get a dashboard um, where you can switch on and switch off the different components that you have, like uh, the, the pumps and the valves for my, for my part. Um, you can adjust the different uh, different moisture targets uh, for each and every plant. Um, I can switch on the uh, the lights if I want to, but usually I don't do that, yeah, because there's the automations running in the background that are doing the job for me, and that that works really well. Um, if I really want to look at the data, I use a uh, an add-in that's called Grafana, and that allows you to build your own dashboard, yeah, for the uh, from the data. Of all the sensors that are integrated and uh, for me I can see how the plants have been doing in terms of lighting and temperature um, I can see how the different moisture levels um, have been developing um, there's a humidity sensor and the little greenhouse that I showed you earlier um, most importantly I can see um, which plants have been watered yeah um, and at which time I have a uh, a CO2 level sensor um, and uh, I can also check the soil conductivity yeah, which is an indicator on when the plants need to be fertilized and uh, I also have an automation running in the background that sends me a notification when uh, the plants need to be fertilized. I also played around with a pH level sensor yeah but it's not working at the moment yeah I need to repair this at some point um, but you can see it's really powerful. Obviously, the system is nicely over-engineered yeah, for house plants, but it's been running for almost a year. Uh, my plants love it, and it's been really fun to build. It's also been a great opportunity for me to learn how to build bigger systems, like this one for WoW Botanics. At WoW Botanics, we grow rare plant species, so if you're a plant lover, please check out our website and Instagram channel. If you have feedback on how to make the system better or what the next edition could be, please leave a comment. I also want to thank LED Gardner and Hydrosys for Raspberry for their great tutorials because without them, I would have not been able to get the system up and running. Thank you.